Right guys, in this one I'm going to show you how you can reinforce your 3D prints so they're pretty much drop proof, kind of. I mean, if you've made them strong enough, but this will stop the parts from separating or if they're inside the suits, they stop you putting pressure on them, splitting apart. If you've maybe glued them, and that's how you're keeping them together. So we'll show you. I do use a wood burning kit. I only use that because it has interchangeable tips on the end with different shapes and sizes. Uh, but you can use like a soldering iron. And that's to basically go across the joins in the inside. So you would get glue. Well, it's debatable, isn't it? Whether you would put glue on it and then try and burn it. And then you got the vapours from the glue. But that is what I do. I wouldn't advise anybody else to do it, of course, for safety reasons. But... That is what I do. I glue them together, hold them in place, and then I'll go over them softly, going in a couple of mils, just going down in the line to make a channel. And then you can either fold the edges into the channel and make it strong, or what I also like to do is use a 3D printing pen. Now the 3D printing pen, I just save all my old bits of filament off of old reels and I have plenty to use in the 3D pen. I've got more, lots more. <laughs> but yeah, I'm always left with a few meters on the end of a roll and that's perfect for the 3D pen. And most of the time, it doesn't matter what color it is, but on my latest build, I'm doing a Iron Man Starboost suit and I've kept some gray so that when I do the welding in the back of the where I've made the line with the actual wood burning gun I'll fill it in with this just to strengthen it and it's been proved I saw in punished props they were trying against CA glue and just 3D printed pen with PLA to see which like they tested loads of glues loads of ways of joining stuff to see which was the best and CA glue and 3D printing pen came out exactly the same and they were miles above everybody else. So that was wicked. So I definitely rushed away, got a 3D pen, knowing fine well what was going to be doing. Now, another trick I've got up my sleeve is this machine here. Now this is absolutely awesome. Now this is called a hot stapler. And it looks like something you could chase somebody with like a taser. Absolutely not advising it, but I will definitely give it a try and update and let everybody know just how fearful their face was. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's harmless. It's just a heat gun, just like the soldering iron. Has the power pack inside. Comes with its own little hot staples that are tricky. But basically, it's got two holes up in the end and your different staples have got all different shapes you've got flat ones bent ones and you just pop them in now even when the machine's switched on and stuff this won't actually heat up or do anything until you press the button so the button's up here on the top and basically when it's plugged in oh, oh i don't have the there we do i'll show you how quick this actually works this is crazy And we'll get more to it soon when we start welding inside the print to show you. But I'll show you how quick the lights up. Oops. Did you see that? It just ejected straight out. Two seconds. Right, we're back. Still don't know where the other one went. <laughs> but yeah, just to show you how quick it lights up. Put it in. It's instantly red hot. I mean, it is glowing. And as soon as you let off, the power stopped. Now, the idea with this is you would hold it on till it's red hot. You'd press it in as deep as you wanted in the plastic. You'd let off the button. And then as it was cooling down, you'd slightly turn it a little bit. Let it cool down and then pull out and the staple would stay inside and here's a list of the other kind of staples you can get the different thicknesses and shapes but you could make your own with little bits of wire i did have a big roll of wire but it just doesn't seem to be strong enough so it's too thin but yeah there's other cases here all different sizes that come with it absolute wicked tool and i'll show you in a minute how strong it is it is crazy strong 
and definitely better than any glue. So for reinforcing suits and big bits that are going to hang bits of weight off, I'd advise this. Now there is different kinds, there's ones with big control boxes, it's called a hot stapler. And there's big control boxes and more like a little handheld thing, smaller than this, might be better for getting in everywhere. This is a bit bulky and I'm limited to where I can reach. So sometimes it's better to split parts, put these in some places, and then just plastic weld the other seams. But overall this is better for reinforcing than 3D printing or plastic welding on its own. So that's a really good thing to get a hold of that. Now let's get on to uh, joining this helmet up. This is just a test piece. This was a helmet I was doing and was trying to rush it quickly just to see as a, what was needed to fill in the parts. Like up here I put wood filler in here to sand it out and it worked good. So that's and all over the top. The top was very, very rough. Now it's really smooth. Not too smooth. I never went over the top with the sanding but yeah. This is plastic welding so let's get into it. Okay, I just want to show that on the bottom down here, over there and over here, I've just put two hot staples in place while I was holding the case together with my other hand just to hold it perfect. Sometimes it's a nightmare if you've got glue and the glue doesn't want to set and you're left holding awkward parts at an awkward angle and you're moving slightly and then when it comes to sticking it's a little bit apart. That's annoying, so... I use the staples to keep everything in place while I then go on uh, plastic welding in the bottom to hold them in place. So we'll move on to that next. So guys, we're just going to take the soldering iron or wood burning gun. We're just going to rub along where the seam is in between both sides. Just dig a little bit. No, don't press hard because you will go through it. But the more passes you give it, You'll give it a deeper line to join. Right, that's how I do that part. I'll do that to both. Yeah, just to make a channel, just a deep groove, and then we're going to backfill that in. But there's other ways to do other things as well. So, where are we? I'll set this down just now. Now, Inside you find big grooves like this, big chunks. It might even be easier just to get a piece of filament like normal colour of what you already have. You might just want to cut it down into size and you can lean in there and actually weld it like normal, just placing that in where you want it to be and just swipe across it. That will in fact, where are we? Up here, start stitching it all together like welding filament, which is also good to help fill in the cracks from the other side because if you fill it up, it's got less chance of tweaking and warping. But yeah, you can fill it in from this side like this, and that's a quicker way of well, basically, I would use uh. 3D printing pen which is just heating it up for me and I'm just pointing and shooting wherever I want it to go and stay as long as I need to fill up that area and then move on which is a good tool to have very cheap but very good tool but you don't actually need it you could just use filament in that way and seal in the bits you need or extra filament because if you're just going to melt away at the actual parts of your 3D print you're going to end up like thinning them out or getting too close to the surface and burning or distorting it so chopping a bit of filament and putting it down and working that into the two parts is also a really good way of doing it so that way you're not trying to distort your print in any way but yeah it's a good way to do it meantime those staples are in there now i would show you this is my favorite staple this one's on the thick side you do get the 0 0.6 this is 0 0.8 but this one's wicked when you put this down across two seams. Wow! 
I tested on prints and was trying to pull them apart and the print ended up breaking across the middle where I was pulling at, not where they were joined, so extra, extra strong. I could not pull it apart. And I know from experience with glue parts, I've sat down with glue parts in my hand and leaned on the table and they've just popped quite easy. So that gets kept in place and now already the helmet's rock solid and all we've done is one, two, three stitches and two temporary staples. So that's just to show you how quick and easy a simple tool can get you what you need. This is what I'm on about, the hot stapler. It's an absolute must if you're making large scale 3D prints. I mean, when you put those staples in, you can use flush cutters. Like once you put them in, you've got the prongs hanging out. You can either use flush cutters to chop those ends away to get them roughly down. You could hot glue over the edges so they're not rough if it's close to where you are. But I found afterwards, just using long nose pliers, getting down as low as you can and bending it, heating it up and forcing it into the material, it pretty much hides it anyway. But you can go over it with hot glue or you can go over it with filament and heat it in or 3D pen over the top of it. But yeah, I've found any sharp edges hanging out, hot glue over the end and it's never a problem. So that's to show you what you could use so i have the 3d pen the hot stapler and the well it's a wood burning kit because it's got different tips but it's basically a soldering iron so you could use these and remember always keep your filaments they're so handy for the 3d pen you would not believe i've got about three of these boxes and they're just jam-packed with Lots of mini rolls off the ends of rolls. Loads of it. And a 3D pen alone can be used for designing stuff, making stuff. You can print on plastic, so you can put a picture down, sit a bit of plastic over the top of the picture, and go over the picture with the 3D pen, and then when you move the plastic out of the way and pop it, you've got the whole picture comes off. Really cool, crafty thing handy in many different applications but yeah this has been my video for how to reinforce and strengthen your 3d prints so they don't fall apart when you wear them and look i've only just stuck that on there so it definitely works give it a try bye for now guys